Hi everyone and welcome to the Mathsman YouTube channel. In this video today we are going to be looking at bod mass. Some people call it bid mass, but both of those two just means the order of operations and that's what we're going to be looking at in this video today. We're going to start by talking about just exactly what is bod mass and then we're going to work through some examples and then to end the video I'm going to ask you a question where you'll be able to type your answer in the comment section down below and I will check it for you. But without wasting any more time, let's get right into it. So what is bod mass and why do we need it? Bod mass basically is just a set of maths rules that we must follow if we want to get the correct answer. But to explain fully what bod mass is and why we need it, I've got two examples on the board that are going to help us. So I have two number sentences which are completely the same. But depending on how I solve these two questions can actually give me two different answers. So if I just do what most people do and just start from the left and go to the right and solve it that way, look at what answer I get. So if I do 3 plus 7 first, I get 10. And then if I multiply that 10 by 2, I get an answer of 20 but that actually is the wrong answer because what bod mass tells us to do is bod mass tells us to do the multiplication part of this question first so because i know bod mass what i'm going to do is i'm going to do seven times two first which is 14 and then i'm going to add three and that gives me an answer of 17 and that is actually the right answer because I know what bod mass is and I know the rules. Just before we move on to the example section of this video, if you are enjoying this video and you are learning something, then please hit the like button down below. It really helps the channel out. And if you've got any ideas for anything you'd like me to do a future maths video on, then put that in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified once that video has been released. So the last thing you really need to know before we move into the examples is what the mnemonic of bod mass means. So B stands for brackets. O stands for orders. That's always the one that people get confused with. So just make sure you stick around for that part. Um, and then we've got D for division. Then we've got M for multiplication, A for addition, and S for subtraction. Okay, so let's have a look at these two examples which explain what B and O mean. So in this example, we have 3 multiplied by 5 plus 3. So because of bod mass, I'm not going to do the multiplication first. I'm going to do the brackets part first. So 5 plus 3 is 8. And then it's just a simple case of 3 times 8 is 24. I'm pretty sure most people would have done that anyway. Okay, but this one is a little trickier. So we have 5 plus 2 to the power of 2. And this is what orders mean. So it, it means the powers. Okay, so any number that has a squared number or a cubed number, anything like that. So it says that I have to do this first. So 2 to the power of 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. So then it'd be 5 plus 4, and that makes 9. In these next two examples, we're going to look at the D and the M. So in this example here, we have 10 plus 6 divided by 2. So bod mass tells me that I've got to do the multiplication part of this question first and not do 10, time, uh, 10 plus 6. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. So then I need to do 10 plus 3 makes 13. Let's have a look at this question. 10 take away 4 multiplied by 2. So I do not do this part first because subtraction is last on the list. I do this bit first. So 4 times 2. So multiplication comes before subtraction. So 4 times 2, that gives me 8. And then I'm left with 10 take away 8. And that gives me... Two. So we're going to finish this video with one more challenging example and then a challenge question for you. 
when I'd like you to figure out the answer and write it in the comment section and I'll check it for you. But let's take a look at the example question first. So here we have three operations in this question. We have division, takeaway and addition. So Bodmas tells me to do the um, division part of this question first. So 10 divided by 2 is 5. Then I'm left with 5 take away 3 plus 5. Then I need to do the addition part of this. So 3 plus 5 gives me 8. And then I'm left with 5 take away 8, which would actually give me a negative number, which is minus 3 or negative 3. So here's my challenge. Here's my final question for you to complete at home. So we have 10 multiplied by 4 plus 7 take away 5. So get a pen, get a piece of paper, figure out the answer. And then when you've done, write it in the comment section down below and I'll check your answer for you. Don't forget, if you have enjoyed this video and you have learned something, then please hit the subscribe button and the like button and I'll catch you in the next video.